To my first time viewers, welcome. My name is Joseph Long and I thank you for choosing this platform. To all my returning viewers, well, hello, friends, and thank you for your support. Research suggests that thinking about the future, a process known as prospection, can help us lead more generous and fulfilled lives. Yes, Thinking about the future can trigger anxiety, but a growing body of research suggests that it can also make our lives more meaningful. All right, so I see you, Miss Marverine, Grand Rising to you, sister. Oh, there's a couple of you on here on Instagram. I see you, Miss Malika, Grand Rising to you, Miss. Oh, is that. <laughs> Grand Rising Monique, good to see you on this beautiful Saturday morning. Let's become centered. Get into a comfortable position, rather that is sitting or lying down. If you're sitting, make sure your spine is upright and aligned. If you are lying down, make sure you are lying flat on your back. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and relax. I'm going to speak to you and I want you just to listen and imagine. Do not sleep. <clears throat> just relax and imagine. Right now, I want you to think about your life. Think about your family. See your family. Think about your friends. In your mind, see your friends. And think about your job. See yourself working. And when you see all these things in your mind about your current life, how does it make you feel? Take a moment to imagine. Now think about a goal you want to accomplish in the next year of your life. It could be a relationship goal, an educational goal, a personal goal, or a work-related goal. Think about why this goal is important to you. 
how will achieving this goal add value to your life? Think about it and see your goal in your mind's eye. Now I want you to imagine yourself going forward into the future one week. Two weeks, three weeks, go forward into the future. It is now one month in the future. You have started on the road to success. What decisions have you made? What actions have you taken? And how does it feel to be on the road to success? Now I want you to continue going forward. It is now six months in the future. You are much closer to your goal. You are starting to feel the benefits of all of your efforts. How does it feel to be closer to your goal? What emotions do you feel as you move closer toward your goal? Imagine. Now I want you to continue going forward. It is now one year in the future. You have fully accomplished your goal. You have achieved success. See yourself. What do you look like? What are you doing? Who are you with? What are people saying to you? And what are you saying to them? How does success feel? Now I want you to look back on your success. Look back on the process of achieving success. 
Look back on all of your hard work and effort. How did you reach your goal step by step? What were the little things you did day by day to achieve success? What did you do at work? What did you do in your relationships? And what did you do inwardly to achieve success? Take a moment to think of all the steps you took to accomplish your goal. And when you are ready, take a deep breath. Relax. Smile. And open your eyes. Namaste. I see you, my sister Valdine, a grand rising to you on Instagram. I see you, Miss Sandra, grand rising to you, my sister and friend. And just give me the thumbs up once you are ready to proceed with the inspirational message. Today's message comes from the daily publication of the Daily Word. And today's message is titled, I create my life with God through faith. Your faith inspires you to go far in the world as you commit to doing the inner work of faith praying, speaking affirmations, forgiving. You also do your work in the world to practice and demonstrate your faith through action. How do you choose to live is a demonstration of your faith from the uplifting, affirming words you choose to values you uphold. Your faith is demonstrated in every word and deed. You live your faith in prosperity when you share freely of your supply. You live your faith in wholeness when you make choices that encourage your health. You live your faith in peacefulness when you listen openly and forgive willingly. Through your awareness of the indwelling God, you create your life of faith. So I'm going to um, invoke spirit right now. A spirit is always there, but I'm going to bring myself into a place of oneness. Awareness of oneness. Because as I was working on this portion of this practice, I found I was running out of time. So I want to just talk with talk to you in this moment. Because what I just got from this message is totally different from what I wrote down in my script. 
So what I get from this is that if you want to know what level you are in your faith, in your belief, and I'm going to be as bold enough to say in how you view God, how powerful you think God is, it, was, it shows in the life you live. So if you feel that you, uh, you need to express wholeness, more health, health in your body, in your relationships, then what you're demonstrating in your life now confirms the level of the faith you have. Or, let me be safe to say, it demonstrates, it, it illustrates how you demonstrate it in that aspect, in that area of your life. So if you feel you need more health, then my question to you, a question you should be asking yourself is, what are you doing in your life to achieve wholeness or health? Are you eating the right things? If you don't know what that is, are you researching that? Are you talking to a health practitioner? Are you meditating to continually cleanse your mind and your feelings of negativity? Are you upholding healthy thoughts or are you focusing on the seemingly dis-ease? Relationships. This is an area I'm work currently working on. If you say you want to be in a loving relationship, you want that special person, what are you doing to achieve that? Are you being lovingly to everyone you interact with? And I use the word intentionally, everyone you interact with, even the so-called difficult individual, even the so-called, for lack of better words, evil person. Are you expressing love to everyone? See, I believe that if you want love and relationships or more love in your life, then you have to do everything you can to be to express love. Starts from the thoughts and then not actions. Are you doing random acts of kindness just randomly all the time, every week, all year long? Do you get did you get do you get what I'm coming from? Are you being that in which you want in your life at any cause in spite of the, the outer appearances? So if you look at the news, you look at social media, you, you see we are living in a world full of hate. We live in, in a chaotic world. Do you harbor that in your mind? Do you think, do you believe that too? We have to examine our thoughts all the time. That is why we meditate. That is why we pray. That's why we do affirmations throughout the day all the time. That's why I tell you all the time, you could do simple practices as being in awareness of your breathing, making sure it's steady, it's calm, because it also will also reflect, manifest that in your mind and in your feelings. So do you live in the world, but do not live in that live in the world? If that makes sense. So my brothers and sisters, on this self-care Saturday, what we're going to be intentional on is examining our words, our thoughts, our reactions, our actions. And then we're going to see, is that, am I expressing out of faith that God can handle anything, can do anything? So, if the life you live in isn't favorable... Know that it's not too late to take the necessary steps to live boldly, courageously as your authentic self to consult your inner light 
believing you can create the world that you want to live in. And as I was doing the meditation as well, what came to my mind is, do we feel we are worthy of success? A lot of people don't feel that they are deserving of success based on what they did in the past, based on what people told them they are or cannot do in the past, or it might be as past, currently past, recently is what I'm trying to think of, as yesterday. Someone might told them that's impossible, that's foolish to think that way, that you can't achieve that. So that might be something we need to work on. Someone might, may need to work on. And once they work on that, knock those barriers down, chisel on those, those um, negative, I can't do, I'm not worthy thoughts, then they will work towards their success, work towards that life that they've been dreaming of. So I'm going to go with, leave you with that. No one's giving me feedback, so I don't know if anyone agrees with what I'm saying, don't agree with what I'm saying, or with rather anything I have said is resonating with you, or you just dare just taking it all in. In any route, it's okay. And so it is. If you like today's message and meditation, click on the like button, comment, and share. Don't forget to go into my YouTube channel, Inspirational Moments with Joseph Long, and hit the like button on a video, if not all the videos that's there. Because even though I'm not able to go on live on YouTube, I have been uploading all these videos, live videos, on my YouTube channel. And you will greatly help my algorithms on there. You would greatly help me uh, go into that next level. Take this platform to the next level if you just make it a practice to go on there and punch those like buttons on those videos. Share them. And if you have not done so, to subscribe. I am this close to making my 1,000 subscribers goal. Last time I checked, I was at 967. So that could be achieved easily today with your help. But I, 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 what I'm learning from my from experiences yesterday is to be patient, knowing that everything that's deserving comes with time. So I'm gonna be patient and know that it will occur in divine time, in my time. So know that we will not have a guided meditation tonight at 9, at tonight. However, we will reconnect tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank you all for joining me in this morning's experience or whenever you come and check the video in today's experience. I love you. And I appreciate you. Um, I see you, Miss Deborah, a grand rising to you. I see your feedback, Miss Valdine. Yes, yes, thank you for touching and agreeing. Go forward, my brothers and sisters, knowing that with God, you have the power to create your world. And with that, Yes, 1K or more is on the way. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming the uh, or more, the believe it or not, Miss Deborah, but I'm taking baby steps. Right now, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm claiming 1,000. And you know me. You know me, Miss Deborah. And once I get the 1,000, then I'm going to be um, eventually aiming at the 100,000. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. So, I leave you as I wish you peace and many blessings.